Wheel bearings and seals are an integral part of the vehicle's suspension system. They are safety-related components that perform important tasks in a vehicle's suspension. Wheel bearings are similar to other suspension components for their ability to absorb wheel forces and loads. The forces acting on the tire and wheel assembly result in loads being applied to the wheel bearing, which must absorb them. The bearing allows the wheels to rotate with minimal friction, and they also support the vehicle's weight. The seal retains lubricants in the bearing and at the same time protects it from contaminants such as dirt, mud, road dust, and water. In order for the bearings and seals to perform these functions, they need to be in good working condition. Other components in the suspension system that are in poor condition can adversely affect the performance of the wheel bearings and seals and the handling of the vehicle. After completing this course, you will be able to identify types and locations of wheel and bearings and seals, communicate better with customers, perform the correct inspection and service procedures, and understand tips for proper bearing and seal installation and maintenance. We'll begin by looking at the different types and location of wheel end bearings and seals. The type of wheel bearings and seals you will encounter depends on the kind of vehicle you're working on. In this section, you will be introduced to the different types of wheel bearings and seals for three basic styles of vehicles. Front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and four wheel drive. This illustration shows a generic layout of a front-wheel drive vehicle and its bearing and seal locations. This type of vehicle typically has hub bearings in the front and rear wheel end locations and is most common on late model vehicles. However, some front-wheel drive vehicles will have serviceable tapered roller bearings in the rear. This illustration shows a generic layout of a rear wheel drive vehicle and its bearing and seal locations. This type of vehicle comes with a variety of wheel bearing and seal configurations. On the front, it may have a hub bearing or it may have two sets of tapered roller bearings and a grease seal. The tapered bearing and seal combination is generally found on older applications. On the rear, it will have either a hub bearing, hub assembly, cylindrical or tapered roller bearings and an oil seal on the axle shaft. This illustration shows a generic layout of a four-wheel drive vehicle and its bearing and seal locations. This type of vehicle also comes with a variety of wheel bearing and seal configurations. On the front, it may have a hub bearing or it may have two sets of tapered roller bearings and a grease seal. Again, the tapered bearing and seal combination is generally found on older applications. On the rear, it may also have either a hub bearing, hub assembly, cylindrical or tapered roller bearings and an oil seal on the axle shaft. Effectively communicating with the customer is an important element when diagnosing a vehicle and suggesting repairs. Regardless of the type of wheel bearing, when a wheel bearing wears out on a vehicle, it may or may not give much warning notice. Typical signs of bearing failure include noise from the vicinity of the wheel, usually a growling or grinding sound. ABS lights on or the ABS system not functioning properly, steering drift or looseness in the steering, abnormal tire wear, grease leakage. Any time a customer has one of these complaints, start by writing down all of their problems and concerns. Next, ask questions related to their concerns so that you get a full understanding of their problems with their vehicle. Explain the inspections that are needed to properly diagnose the cause of their problem. Also, make sure to cover the following items. Noise. If there is noise coming from one of the wheels, ask them to describe it. Is there a growling, grinding, or whining sound? These could indicate potential bearing failure. When does it occur? All the time? At certain speeds? Cornering? Or other times? Is there any noticeable grease leakage? Anti-lock brake system and traction control system. If they are having ABS or TCS issues, is there a constant light on? This would indicate that the ABS TCS system has been disabled due to a fault in the system. Is there an intermittent light on? This would indicate potential ABS TCS system failure. Are they having premature ABS modulation? Steering issues. If they are having issues with steering, ask the following. Is it loose or does it drift? If so, recommend an undercar inspection. 
One or more parts could be worn and in need of replacement, including the bearings and the steering and suspension components. Abnormal tread wear. If the tires show abnormal tread wear, recommend an undercar inspection. During the inspection, look for obvious signs like wheels with excessive camber. One or more parts could be worn and in need of replacement, or an alignment check may be needed. Previous service work. Ask when service work was last performed. Premature bearing failure could be an indication of a faulty seal replacement during previous service work or the reuse of a worn seal during previous service work. Any time a customer has one of these complaints, you should start with a test drive followed by a visual inspection. Tip: Always confirm the vehicle is safe to drive prior to the test drive. After verifying the vehicle is safe, perform a test drive to confirm the customer's complaints. Take note of the types of noises and when they occur. Do they become louder at faster speeds or is the noise more prevalent during turns? Check how the vehicle handles and if there is a vibration. If the ABS and or TCS lights come on, note when this occurred. Also note any additional issues you find that the customer didn't mention. After the test drive, put the vehicle up on a hoist and perform a thorough inspection. Carefully inspect the suspension components and steering linkage. It may be necessary to listen for bearing noise on a hoist using an automotive stethoscope. If present, inspect the wheel speed sensors, tone rings, and sensor wiring. If an ABS and or TCS light is on, an ABS-TCS system diagnosis may also be needed. If the problem turns out to be noise, excessive play, or ABS and or TCS related failure in the front wheel bearings, the solution is to replace the hub bearing or tapered bearing and seal. When a wheel and seal wears out, it usually leads to bearing failure, so the symptoms of failure on seals are often the same as they are for bearings.